Now, as promised, let's talk a little bit about outsourcing. Now, one of the easiest ways to do your social bookmarking, to be honest, is to outsource it. You can use tools, yes, you can automate it, yes. But ultimately, if you really want to free up your time, you need to outsource it. You need someone who can do it for you. Now, there's a lot of different places where you can film. We'll talk about a couple of them here. Now, you can outsource through the Mechanical Turk. If you go to a mechanicalturk.com, uh, you'll find it there. It's a very, very good tool. And you can get social bookmarking done there for um, a few cents, really, per bookmark. I mean, it's incredibly cheap. Um, however, it's not available at the moment to people outside of the USA. So whether or not that's a, you, know, you or not, I don't know. But that is a very good place for you to get outsources to get your bookmarks. And you can get your bookmarks very quickly, um, very easily, and at a very, very good price. The other option is to hire people direct. Now, you can go on to um, f f uh, getafreelancer.com or freelancer.com, whatever it's called, or um, Odesk or Elance or any of those sites and hire somebody there just to do social bookmarking. You can either hire them to do a single job or to do many jobs. It's, it depends upon what you want to do. Now, the other good place to go, and I think this is one of the, the, the best places, is Digital Point, is it Digital Point, which is forums.digitalpoint.com or warriorforum.com. If you go on there, they have a services set. Warrior Forum has a Warriors for Hire and a Warrior Special Offer section. If you search through those and the um, um, marketplace on the Digital Point, you will find a lot of people offering social bookmarking services. Um, it varies in price and quality and number of sites and whether it's manual or automated. So you need to understand what you want first. Are you after it being done manually? Are you not fussed if it's done uh, with an automated tool? Uh, how many sites do you want it done to? So bear that in mind when you're considering this and deciding which one you want to go for. The price will vary dramatically. Now, I can tell you from experience that people at the Warrior Forum tend to be a lot more diligent and a lot more reliable. Um, if you hire somebody from there, they will do a good job and they'll do it fairly quickly. Because the Warrior Forum is a community and many people there want to build their reputation, they tend to do things well and rapidly because they, you know, it reflects well in the community and uh, obviously helps them build their business. Now, Digital Point... Um, it's cheap. That's its real benefit. I mean, seriously, you can get. I mean, I had somebody um, create me. Um, that I went. They went to OnlyWire.com. They created five OnlyWire.com accounts, verified them all, created email addresses for them all, and created accounts on every single social bookmarking site. And one person there would do it for three dollars. So you can get some ridiculously cheap prices at Digital Point, but. Do bear in mind that some people there are, um, how do we put this, politely, perhaps not the most diligent of workers. Now, I've often tried to hire people there because it's a very quick and easy way of getting people. And to be honest, half the time it's a nightmare. It really is. I've had people say, yeah, yeah, I'll do the job. I've said, right, here's the, here's the job description. Get on and do it for me. And, you know... Three or four days later, it's an email. I send an email saying, "Well, what's happening?" Oh, I haven't got around to starting yet. If I even get a reply, so you know, you you've got to be a bit more choosy. Um, I would say find a thread on the forums where somebody's offering these services and has some positive feedback, and post on the thread that you're going to hire them, and then hire them. And they because they have a thread going um, on the forum, they're likely to do a very good job and be very responsive. Because the last thing they want is for someone to turn up on the thread and go, now nah, you know what, you've done a rubbish job. So uh, that, that's basically my pointer for getting that to work. But either of those places, you can get some very cheap and very effective services. And it can range from anything from you know, 20, 30 bookmarks upwards. So you can get some really, really good services there if you go. But what you're going to have to do when you outsource is make sure you provide them with the web page, your keywords, ideally in both comma and space separated format the titles and descriptions but what you 
need to make sure as well is are they if they're doing it manually then you want them to rotate titles and descriptions if they're doing it with an automated tool that may not be per, um, possible so again depending on what you want to achieve you may want someone that's going to do it manually for you and the the real benefit of outsourcing is you know for example if you live in the USA or um, the UK or somewhere like that it may cost you a lot of money to to get somebody locally to do it but if you get somebody from a country with a lower cost of living then they can do it very very cheaply by comparison you know ten dollars to you and I may not be very much you know it, it's a, a Big Mac meal for example but over in you know somewhere in the in Asia you know like the Philippines or Malaysia or parts of India ten dollars that could be a day's wage or a week's wage for some people in local currency so you 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 can see that um, you can make good use of your money by outsourcing. What you could also do if you want multiple bookmarks is hire multiple people. So you know you want ten different bookmarks, hire ten people to do it, and that way you've got com ten completely different bookmarks, different accounts, different countries, different um, IP addresses, and everything. So very beneficial for you to do that. And one of the real big benefits is it literally minimizes the chances of you provide as spam. The chances are going to be you know, literally zero that that's going to happen because you you know it's not as if if, if I'm doing t um, ten social bookmarks from my computer at home on one site, it's all going to come up with as being from the same IP address. So if I sit here now and I do ten bookmarks, the site may well turn around and go, hmm. You shouldn't be doing that many from one IP address. We're gonna, you know, delist you or sandpit you or do something nasty to your listing. So by outsourcing it to lots of people like this, it means that basically you're not gonna get classified as spam at any time. And one thing you can do, and again, this is something a lot of people forget, is many internet marketers when it comes to you know, getting social bookmarks go, right, I've got to do it all today. It's gotta to be done now. And that's not not true at all. You know, spread it out over time. It looks very very natural then, and it also helps you with the search engines. You know, if Google comes along to I don't know uh, delicious dot com for example, and finds five bookmarks for your site, it's going to go. All right, there's a site. I'll go and have a look. But if it comes today and finds a bookmark, it'll go and have a look at your site. And go. Oh yeah, look, there's a site there, and stick it away and do what it does with it. But then it comes back tomorrow and it finds another bookmark. It's going to go. Hmm. That site's there again. Let's go and have another look at it. And if you've changed it, then your new content will get spidered. And you know, it comes along the day after and goes, Oh, there's another bookmark. And the day after it goes, Hey, look, there's another bookmark. This site is obviously popular. People are bookmarking. So it can really, really benefit you to do that. So don't think you've got to do all your social bookmarking right now, today. Spread it out over uh, days and even weeks. And it's going to look very, very good for the search engines that you continue to get in these bookmarks. And it looks very natural. Remember, with any link building or anything like that, you're trying to make sure that it looks natural and that it doesn't look like somebody you know, is spamming the search engines. The search engines are really, really uh, protective of their listings, basically. And if they even for a second think that someone's spamming them, that site will be gone before you can even blink an eye and once the site's been blacklisted by someone like Google you have zero literally zero chance of getting it back and making it useful again so do be aware of that but outsourcing is a very very effective way for you to really build up your uh, bookmarks at a low cost you can get it done very very cheaply if you hire the right people or use the mechanical Turk and if you do that then you're going to do very very well like I literally I will get um, you're not going to get classified as spam and you're going to find that your uh, site is going to do well in the search engines particularly if you get multiple bookmarks so you get um, you know 50 people at the mechanical Turk to bookmark you well wow, that's going to do your site really 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 well honestly it will so that's basically outsourcing in a nutshell and you know if you do this it's, it is going to help your business now a lot of people are a bit nervous about outsourcing they go well I, you know, I can't afford to spend the money 
but think about it if I was to do the bookmarking myself say it took me two hours what's two hours of my time worth if I paid somebody to do it I might be able to get somebody to do that two hours work for say ten dollars so you know that means that yeah, if I value my time at say fifty dollars an hour and I'm paying somebody ten dollars an hour, I'm effectively in profit. So don't don't think that outsourcing is wasting money, it's freeing up your time. So rather than you do menial tasks like social bookmarking, you can concentrate on creating new sites, building a business or yeah, having a bit of fun, whatever it might be. So outsourcing very, very good, should be done as soon as you can afford to do it. Basically once you have the money and have a bit of income coming in, start to outsource. The more you can outsource, the more you start to see your business really, really boosting and increasing. It will do a incredible things for you.